Good morning, my dear students. Today, let us discuss some phenomena which we regularly observe in our daily life. For example, here I am in a railway station. There are three trains. Train number one. Train number two and train number three. These are the three trains on the railway station. I am sitting in second train with my family, and this is one train. This is one more train. There is a Shop here. Uh, there is an ice cream parlor there. I asked my father to get one ice cream for me. My father went outside to get the ice cream. Now I felt that my train is moving. Now I felt that my train is moving, and I have shouted at my father. Father, come fast, come fast, come fast. Without ice cream, my father came, in. and he asked me why I am shouting. And then I said that, Dad, our train is moving. You are still at the ice cream parlor. That's why I have shouted at you. Then my father is saying that, Are you mad? Our uh, train is at rest. It's not at all moving. I got confused. I felt that my train is moving. I shouted at my father. He came inside and he said that my train is not moving. What happened? Got my question? My father said that the train is not moving. I felt that, uh, I imagined that uh, I was in a myth that uh, my train was moving. Later on I found that my train is not moving, my train is at rest. So can you tell me what happened? To know answer for this, we need to discuss about uh, rest and motion. Myself, Giri Prasad, lecture in physics. Today, let us discuss uh, about rest and motion and see why this boy fell back. Let me ask you some more questions. Let us see some basic objects like a tree. A hat, and a parking vehicle. Let us see this tree. This is a tree, a hat, and a parking vehicle. Can you tell me the state of these uh, three objects? Can you tell me the state of these three objects? A common man will say that uh, these three objects are at rest. Or if I ask this person, this boy, who is standing on the earth? Who is standing on the earth? If I ask him, what will he say? He says that. Uh, Three hut and the parking vehicle are at rest. It is our general observation whenever we are traveling by a car or train, we see outside objects. Let us see what happens at that time. 
For example, if I am inside the car and the car is moving like this, how do I feel? I feel that I am inside the car and I am observing the outside objects. How do I feel? I feel that the tree is moving backwards. For example, if this is east, this is west. If I am going towards east, I feel that my car is moving towards east. Then I feel that this tree moves towards west. This hut is moving towards west. This bike is moving towards west. Means backwards. If I am moving in this forward direction, I feel that my all these objects are moving in the backward direction. Now, can I say that? The objects are at rest. This is my question. Now, can I say that my objects are at rest? Definitely no. The objects are, are not at rest with respect to me. I am inside the moving car and I am saying that the objects are moving in the backward direction. But what actually happened? Actually, the objects are moving backwards. That's all. Got confused? Just wait. Here, the boy is on the earth. I am inside the car. We both are not same. The boy is actually at rest. And actually, I am moving. So, for the boy, these objects appear to be as if they are at rest, but for me, they appear as if they are moving in the backward direction. What is the difference? The difference is our frame of reference is different. Here, the frame of reference is the earth for the boy, but for me, the frame is Car. I am inside the car, moving car. That is the difference. To for the better understanding, we need to know what does it mean by motion. For the better understanding, we need to know the definition of motion. When can you say that an object is moving? See, I am here. You can see change. Now we can say that the object is at under motion. What is motion? When can we say that the body is at motion? If the position of the object is changing with respect to time, then only we can say that the body is under motion. If at 10.30 the object, the car is at B only. At 10.40 the car is at B only. At 10.50 the car is at B only. Means what? The position of the object is not changing with respect to time means again the body came to rest with respect to B. Now, see here. The car is moving. In the earlier case, the car is moving. These objects are here. What's happening? With respect to A, at the 10 o'clock, this is the position. Up some the car is here. This is the position. Up some the car is here. This is the distance or the position of the object. Means, what's happening? With respect to time, the position of this car with respect to the car is changing. Means, this tree is under motion with respect to the car but not with respect to the boy. Now, can you tell me, is it easily possible to say whether an object is at rest or under motion? No, we can't say whether an object is at rest or under motion if the question is like this only. You can say, sir, your question is wrong. If I ask you that, tell me whether this board is at rest or motion. You can say that my question is wrong. Why? I didn't specify the reference. I didn't specify the reference. That's why my question is wrong. If I ask you the question like this, is this board at rest with respect to this uh, wall? Yes, my question is right. With respect to this wall, 
my position of this, uh, the position of this one is not changing. Means the body is at rest. What is the position? What about this uh, state of this tree? The question is wrong. With respect to the earth, what is the state of the tree? That is the right question. Then you can say that the tree is at rest. But if you ask me the question like this, what is the state of this tree? The question is wrong. If you ask the question like this, what is the state of this tree with respect to this moving car? Then you can say that the tree is moving in the backward direction. Means we can't say whether a body is at rest or in a motion until and unless a frame of reference is attached to it. For example, you may say that I am in the classroom, I am standing here like this, you may say that I am at rest. But if I make a call to my friend who is on the moon, Hi my dear friend, what is my state? He will say that uh, I am rotating and uh, revolving along with the earth. So I am not at rest. In general, we don't specify the frame of reference because we are habituated to make the frame of reference as our earth. So nobody is mentioning the frame of reference means we have to assume that uh, he is uh, mentioning the frame of reference as our earth. So, with respect to the frame of reference of the earth, these objects are at rest and this car is moving. Because the position of the car is uh, changing with respect to the time. Now, let us take one more example. My friend is sitting beside me. I am in a car. My friend is sitting beside me. And uh, my parents are uh, giving sign off. The car is moving at uh, 100 kmph. For example, the car is moving at 100 kmph. Now what happens? My parents are uh, moving backwards with 100 kmph with respect to me and with respect to my friend. With respect to my parents, the car is moving with 100 kmph, I am moving with 100 kmph, my friend is moving with 100 kmph. Now my question is, what is the speed of uh, my friend with respect to me? Or what is the state of my friend with respect to me? Is he moving with 100 kmph? Or he is at rest. Yes, your answer is right. He is at rest. Because his position is not changing with respect to me at any time. He is always beside me. That's why he is at rest with respect to me. But with respect to my parents, he is under motion. He is moving with the speed of 100 kmph. Now let me ask one more question. There is one more car. Same kind. Here there is a passenger and a driver. This car is also moving with 100 kmph. Now tell me, what is the state of this car? Whether it is a trust or under motion? Again my question is wrong. With respect to the stationary or with respect to my parents, this car is moving with 100 kmph, but with respect to me, this car is at rest. With respect to me, this car is at rest. Because we both are moving with 100 kmph, we are always side by side. We are always side by side. He is always just beside me. Means uh, with respect to me, his position is not changing. Means he is at rest. This is what we have studied today about uh, rest and uh, motion. I hope uh, everyone of you are clear with it. Give your comments uh, in our chat box. If any doubts, you can ask me in the chat box. I am posting one assignment on this and uh, 
you can see one quiz based on this click on the quiz and submit the quiz i will see your answers i am waiting thank you